You're following the football on 3AW. Join Harry Beitzel, Bill Jacobs and Australia's most expert panel of football commentators as they bring you all the action, the thrills, the excitement of today's round of matches. The next three and a half hours of our football coverage is brought to you by 3AW in association with Carlton and United Breweries. Brewers of your favourite beers for over 100 years. And the Baron's Table. Dine with the Baron tonight. We bring you an uninterrupted description of today's big match, South Melbourne versus Essendon. Our description of the first half of the match is brought to you in association with Carlton and United, brewers of Australia's famous beers. We take you to South Melbourne and Harry Beitzel. OK, about to uh, hit the deck for the first bounce here. And I want to get to uh, Frank Considine. I still have a feeling that Peter Moore might play out there. Have to uh, wait for our first bounce. The crowd's roaring. And down goes the bounce from Neville Nash. It's a good one. And up will go Justin Madden. Taps it out. But uh, Nagel's not there to take it, and the free kick is going to go uh, to, to, Essendon, uh, to South Melbourne, and Fraser's going to take this kick. Fraser of uh, South Melbourne driving up toward half forward, a nice uh, strong mark taken down there in defence by Shaw, the full back for the Essendon side. He plays on. He's coming round onto the uh, press box side of the ground. That's where we broadcast from. Not a good kick by that player. Kicking uh, with the breeze to Essendon. They're kicking down to the grandstand end. And the mark was taken by Bernie Evans. Bernie Evans of South Melbourne kicking into the tunnel. And he's uh, dined it beautifully. It's almost a mark down there. Yes, it's a mark. It'll be Roberts, no doubt. He'll take this one. He's coming back now. He's on the goal line to uh, take the mark, Roberts, for South Melbourne. First score will be coming up, no shadow of doubt. And he... Couldn't possibly miss it, could he, Bill? Shouldn't think so from here, Harry. Only, what, 15 metres out, if that? Oh, well, actually, the man standing the mark, uh, that'd be Crow, he would be one metre from the goal line. In comes Roberts now. He's put it through. It's a goal. South Melbourne's got first taste against the breeze. Jumped Essendon. And so South Melbourne, on 3 W Carlton United scoreboard, are already one goal. And Essendon are yet to score. Uh, we'll go to you first, Frank Considine. Yes, uh, play has just started, Harry, and uh, neither score have sco- uh, neither side have right. scored. Right. <coughs> Moore's not playing, is he? Oh, no, Moore's not playing, and Scott is on the bench. Greg Brown. Scores uh, nil all after half a second's play. <coughs> well, it's, uh, one goal to South Melbourne very quickly there. Uh, off the beater, as it were, to Roberts. Uh, big mark from a kick by Evans. Uh, with a ball, a, a kick high by Shaw out of defence, noticeably held up by the strong breeze uh, here at the Lakeside Oval and uh, Evans kick up to Roberts who took a towering mark really and uh, from a very short distance out booted it through for full points to South Melbourne so that's a good opening about a minute and a half into the term and here's the umpire preparing to put the ball down now Madden facing the circle so is Teasdale Teasdale in there Madden won it down that's Simon Madden into the pack of players it goes and nobody can bring it out yet and the umpire's found a free kick and it's going to go Essendon's way the free kick Bahaja right in the centre of the ground and they come out of the centre from Nagel and a hand pass to Nagel across up to the half forward line off the hands of the pack coming through strongly Timmy Watson circling now and kicking high up towards the full forward position uh, down at the grandstand end of the ground it's off the hands of several players very close to the boundary line and umpire Ness right on the spot has found a free kick and it's going there to young Tony Danaher Tony Danaher in the back pocket uh, favouring the grandstand side of the ground or the city side of the ground knocked away by Reese Jones and uh, Andrews coming through strongly for Eston to Harger into the pack and they can't get it out round through it out but it went to Andrews at half forward flank, he spears it in towards centre half forward, coming here from a very close for Eston was Terry Danaher and his kick has gone off line, over the line on the out of bounds on the full uh, at the grandstand into the ground, the end of which Eston are attacking and the free kick will go to South Melbourne and be taken by Cowton, South Melbourne have scored a goal, Eston and the yet to score, Cowton's kick further up field marked by Barry Round, still down in the back pocket area though, short of, uh, a little bit shy of the half back flank and Round kicks up towards centre wing position, off the hands of the pack to Stoneham, Stoneham quickly to nail it'll burst is bursting through and Nagel's run to the half forward line let's throw with a long kick it's a goal a beautiful goal by Nagel oh he's whipped on there by Stoneham and that was a ripper a quick answering goal by the Bombers and the 3RW scoreboard shows that uh, 3RW Carlton United scoreboard each team has kicked one goal in the first four and a half minutes of play around the grounds Frank Considine yes uh, Hawthorne one behind one point and Collingwood yet to score Greg Brown What's Gray with the wind? 1-1-7 to Geelong, yet the score. 
Back into the centre with the umpire about to put it down and a great opening here at the lakeside oval. Uh, down goes the ball and teased Alan down and uh, Madden. Madden knocked it down. That was Justin Madden into the centre, into the uh, pack of uh, players there that can't get out of the muddy centre uh, cricket pitch area. Dehaja came out, but the umpire before that had signalled that he's going to have the ball and he's going to bounce it and get the game underway again. One goal apiece on the 3W Carlton United scoreboard and the ball's put down well. Madden in again, thumps it away. That is Justin Madden once more. Up to Terry Danaher, a hand pass over to Foles, off the hands of Foles to Watson, Watson further afield of the half forward line, Essendon to attack through Hawker but he missed the run of the ball he was put down solidly by Cruz and uh, the free kick is going to go to Hawker Hawker in uh, a position between the half forward line and the forward pocket and he felt that one because Max Cruz just ran straight through him and Hawker is now up assisted by the trainers a teammate there and Timmy Watson say come on get the head down and get into it and Hawker will take his kick from 45 metres out about 3 or 4 metres in from the boundary line on the city or northern side of the ground and firing up towards that grandstand end Hawker coming in a result of a free kick and the kick is long it's got depth down towards a full forward spot and Simon Madden was up there with Barry Round and they had a, a hand, each had a hand in tapping it over the line to see the ball go through for one point to take Essendon onto 1 1 on the 3W Carlton United scoreboard and they lead South Melbourne a goal as Carter comes up to the line and kicks long over towards the uh, bowling green wing over there looking for Reed. It bounced off his hands. In went Terry Danaher. He gave it back to Reed. Reed, the Essendon wingman, hand passed there and Reed got flattened pretty strongly. And uh, players looking a little bit angry about all of this with Nagel wanting to buy into it and uh, several players jostling and Nagel's just asking to be reported so is Reese Jones if he buys into it as he has and uh, that's the folly that the opening bounces are in the early stages of this game but it's a free kick to Eston it'll be taken by Reed, but he hand passes to Neil Danaher and from the half forward line he's poured the ball down towards the forward pocket going in strongly as Fowler tackled and Fowler lost the run of it on the way through came back into it Carter knocked it out to Terry Danaher South trying to get the run of the ball it went to Fowler Fowler out to Simon Madden but intercepted beautifully by Evans Evans handball takes it to the outer side of the ground to Carroll and Carroll kicks long around that bowling green side up towards the full forward spot but coming out there to take a strong mark in defence for Essendon was Big Crow Crow at the centre half back position now transfers play or tries to transfer it to the city side of the ground but the breeze sweeps it back in towards the centre half forward spot South Melbourne can't get it away but Terry Danaher prominent early handball from centre half forward intercepted by Ackley in there is Fowler the tackle too high in the back and the free kick will go to Ackley while we wait for him to get up, we we'll go to uh, you, Frank Considine. Colling at a one goal, six points, and they're leading Hawthorne two behinds, two points. Greg Brown. Let's grey, one, one, seven to Geelong, one straight, six points. Ackley plays on, kicks into a player in front of him, running past, and that was Schultz. Schultz with the left foot, shot at gold at the uh, grandstand end. One point. Good left foot kick that by Schultz. Anticipated it very well, too, because Ackley was given a 15-metre penalty and uh, found himself kicking right on the player in the mark and Schultz made uh, every opportunity pay. Carter up to the line, he kicks over to the bowling green wing, knocked around, in goes Terry Danaher again, handling the ball a lot but not decisively. Round came in to flick it out there towards uh, Jackson. Jackson's hand passes quick and short to right. Right centre wing, hand passes to Carroll. Carroll slips at the vital moment but he covers well. Long, strong handball from Carroll. Gets the ball up there in the direction of... Uh, uh, Fraser and Fraser kicks further afield only to see the attack uh, repulsed up there in the last line of defence by Essendon and taken away by Clark. Just before uh, we go, uh, let uh, Tommy go. Tommy will be going around the rooms. Uh, Tom, just a quick comment about the game as you see it at this stage. Well, South, uh, South got into front, Harry, and they've taken control in the air. T-star round, uh, they've been uh, able to take over in the air, and the Essendon high flies are not doing as well as been expected to be. Uh, Simon Danaher's taken a, uh, four or five good marks, but the other players are dropping, and the South are getting a lot of drive from Evans around the pack. They've placed uh, Fraser in the centre to look after Nagel, and I don't think that Timmy Watson is giving Essendon the drive that they require from him. South have battled on, tackled hard, and they've looked a better side all through, although they're only leading by seven points. OK, th thank you, Tom. Tom now on his way round to the rooms. Uh, we'll just check uh, perhaps a, a half-time score at uh, VFL Park, Frank Considine. Hawthorne at half-time, 12 goals, 9.81, a leading Collingwood, 6 goals, 3.39. Right, just give us those goal kickers there, uh, please. For the, for the Hawthorne side, Goat has four. Two each to Goss and Matthews. 
1H2 Ablett, Moncrief, Patton and also Terry Wallace. For the uh, Magpie camp we find Brewer and Dacos with two each, 1H2 Davis and Craig Stewart. Thank you, and Greg Brown. It won't be half-time yet, I don't think. No, still not half-time. Geelong leading 9 10, 64 to Footscray's 5-5-35. We'll be back in a moment uh, with you, Greg. This is 3 out of you for...